guys so yes today I'm showing you guys how I do my collages I've seen these all over for a while I first saw them when people were doing that thing with their rooms where they would get all those really just vibing vibish picture I don't even know what I'm saying but those really like fun and cute pictures those like kind of like Pinteresty viscoey kind of vibes I guess you could say and they were putting them on their wall. I was thinking, this is so cool, I wanna do these as, you know, wallpaper screens for your devices. I saw some people starting to do them, and I liked them, but I wanted to try to do it myself. So I've just kind of been playing around with the app Canva, and I also opened Pinterest and Redbubble for like the stickers. I just kind of copy and paste images and then I put them into Canva and I just kind of organize them into a big collage. There's different ways to do this. Some people want theirs more cartoony looking with more of the viscoey like sayings, you know, good vibes or whatever, but then some people want the more touching pictures, which I like those better just like on my wallpaper. And I don't know, they look more fancy and classy, but I like doing, I like making both. I think they're fun to do both kinds, but I would just prefer the more picture, like, full screen pictures. I don't know if you know what I'm saying, but I will show you, obviously. So I thought I would show you guys what I'm doing and how I do them, and I'm going to show you some examples that I made for some of my friends. Um, so I think this is a really fun and creative way to just stay busy when I'm home. Obviously, I'm really active, but there's times when I just kind of want to relax, so I love making these collages when I'm resting, drinking my smoothies, before I go to bed. I just think it's really therapeutic and aesthetically pleasing to just, I don't know, look up stuff that's all matching, and I don't know, it's just, it makes my OCD so happy, but yeah. <laughs> Since I am doing my wallpaper for my MacBook Pro, I'm doing custom dimensions and I'm entering in the measurements in pixels. It's super easy to find, just, you know, Google it for whatever screen size your device is. So once I get this layout, I'm just going to go on Pinterest. Once I'm on Pinterest, I'm going to look up anything I want. I think I want this collage to be white, beachy, travel, light blue kind of a sand color. But yeah, so I just copy the image and then paste it with Command V. And you can shrink the image, crop it, whatever. So yeah, I'm just looking at more pictures and copy and pasting them. Canva also has a lot of cute little shapes that you can use on the app. So if I want a little star heart, I insert it and you can make it any color or size that you want. They also have a ton of fonts. So you just pick one that you like and you can write whatever you want. Then to get stickers, I always go on Redbubble. They have stickers for everything. So you can type in whatever you want, copy and paste it into your collage, and then just crop it. This one that I just put in does not really match the theme, so I'm deleting it, but that's what you would do. You can also change the background to anything that you would like. Um, they give you colors that are similar to images that you have in your collage, or you can literally just use that little rainbow thing and kind of slide it around. Okay, I'm gonna go back to that collage in a minute, but here's my favorite one that I've made. I showed it earlier. It's just everything that I love, and it's light pink, my favorite color. These are my favorite types to make because everything's covered up, there's no background showing. It's almost like an eye spy game because there's just so much going on and it's super fun to look at. 
I'm making another collage to show you guys and I'm using different yellows. Again, I'm using Pinterest and Redbubble. And if I want specific things, obviously I type them in. But, you know, if I don't really know what I'm looking for, it's a really good idea when you're on Pinterest to say the color. So I would say yellow aesthetic or yellow aesthetic wallpapers or sometimes yellow visco. This gives you a ton of options that work with your color scheme. Okay, so here are the two collages that I've kind of been working on, the yellow and blue one, or whitish blue, and yeah, I have a lot to go to fill it up, but here's a start. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that it helped you and maybe inspired you to start making collages because again, it is a lot of fun. I just love doing them for people. And when someone says, oh, I want, you know, I haven't done an orange one yet, so I wish someone would ask me to make them an orange one because I haven't researched anything orange. So I think that'd be super fun to just get some more orange vibes. Um, I haven't done orange, I haven't done yellow, I haven't done really any greens. Everyone always asks for teals, like light teals and purple and pink. So I want to branch out and do more colors. So yeah, they're really fun and I hope you guys start making collages too for your friends and family because, again, it is super, super fun. All right, I hope you liked today's video and tune in for more.